it has to be a it has to be a beautiful Saturday in Florida. All four sports. I'm back at it again, making fun of all my Northeast folks. I'm, I used to live up there. I grew up there. I'm a Northeast. I'm a Jersey guy, but I'm in Florida now. And right now, I want to talk about one thing. I want to talk about something in Central Florida that I think has some potential to grow. What we're talking about is the Orlando Magic. And what surprised me All-Star Weekend last week uh, was the fact that Vujacic made the All-Star team. I had no clue that he made the All-Star team. He's an awesome player. For me, as a sounding board for a centerpiece on a team, you want an All Star, and they and they got one. I think I think Aaron Gordon will be a one time All Star, one time in his career. Uh, that said, here goes my issue that I see with the recent signing of Markel Fultz, who now has a new start with the Orlando Magic. I see this team as a strong contending playoff team starting next year, and it's very simple who they need to draft. Their lineup is, I think, very strong to make the playoffs in the East. So Orlando Magic fans, throw your pom-poms up, barring any injury. If you can keep the same exact team, you will have the chance to make the playoffs. Because on paper, beg me if you want, they look better than the Brooklyn Nets. And the Brooklyn Nets are in the playoff. So, I have to question, is the coaching team going to change their mythology in the future and maybe take some pointers from the Brooklyn Nets? Because at this time, I feel that that the Orlando Magic have all the pieces, and let me go through some. I love Terrence Ross. I love him. He is a six-man dream. He could be a starter. But you can't utilize him as a six man. Then they drafted a long man for Durant to compete against Jonathan Isaac. Then you drafted a defensive player in Mo Bamba. You have an offensive gun. You have an offensive gun in Vujacic in post. You have a defensive minded uh, point guard in Isaiah Brisco. You add on a good change of pace third string guy. I think it'll be third string next year. And DJ Augustine. And then you had in Markel Fultz at the uh, one or two position who is an incredible player who can drive to the hole at this point in time, even with the bad shoulder. Even with the bad shoulder, he can drive and give you 12 points in this league. That's how athletic he is. Evan Fournier at the two guard position. Like it. All right, they're kind of loaded. Uh, they can. I, I see Iwaku and a couple guys on the bench that uh, I, I, you can upgrade those. But who do you go for in the draft? Who are you looking for? They need another All Star right now next to Vujacic. You gotta resign him. Who is that gonna be? Uh, can they sneak in John Moran? Can they get a Darius Garland? to wait for Darius Garland. Can they get something in free agency to wait for Darius Garland? I think they can. And I think that's the chance they'll have is Darius Garland. And I think it's a tremendous pick for this team. It solidifies them as a playoff running team for years to come. And the folks get excited about the Orlando Magic. They are moving in a lot of pieces. Now, I mentioned Garland, I mentioned Moran, but there's another situation that may happen. If they are top three pick, who do you get? It's obvious to me every and 48 can then be moved to the bench and take on Iwanka's role. And a perfect fit for this team is R.J. Barrett. If they can find a way to get R.J. Barrett, that will be the second all-star that they need, along with Isaac, Wojciech, Gordon, and Fultz. My lord. On paper, scary team. Orlando Magic, thumbs up. There is a future, there is a path, and I know it's not a saying for you guys. I, I'm looking at this trust in the process. All four sports, 